Hello, everybody, and welcome to Medieval. And we Hello have... again. Yeah, totally. Hello again. Uh, <laughs> why do you say hello again? This is the first time you've been on my channel, Noob. Well, as a co-commentator, anyway. But I was in your Diablo, wasn't I? Yeah, but, I mean, as a co-commentator, not as a cooperative player. Hmm. Anyway, this they is... You still know me. Yeah, this is Mirta000, the zombie. Hello! <laughs> The audio might skip when this dude talks, just put up with it. In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Oh wait, the audio's not glitching. Sorcerer named Zarok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia into battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude, how demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe, and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galilee. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. The sorcerer returned! That means. So, are we working for that evil sorcerer or for the village? We're, we are the hero, after all. So, no, oh. we're, not, we're not working for the sorcerer. So, we're not an evil hero. <laughs> we're a good guy. Aww. Imagine how easy it would be to just go for destroy the village. <laughs> Considering we're undead, it might be quite easy. <laughs> Yay, we're dead! Wow, he's ugly. Very thin. Also looks like he's wearing a mask. <laughs> I think that's just because he's so pimply faced. If his face normally looks that plastic, I just feel sorry for that guy. Don't feel sorry for that guy, I'm going to own him. Yay! No more plastic face! <laughs> and off we go! To take over the world! First, this little village shall burn. Lol. Because he looks so ugly. Plastic. I love green! <laughs> oh, what did he do? Oh my god. Bring down the sky on the village. <laughs> yeah, he just did something flashy and then decides, yep, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at his chin. Ugh. People be afraid I can make all sorts of weird flash flashy things, run. <laughs> I love green. Uh. Uh. Oh my god. Windows exploded. What will Bill Gates do now when he isn't even working on that project anymore? Windows just gave birth to the zombie horde. <laughs> Lol. Little red riding zombie. Aww, he looks cute. He? <laughs> it was a she. I said she. Oh, those trees look awesome. They do. Nightmare creatures all over again. In a more flashy, cartoonish way. In a more awesome way, yeah. This game does rock, though. It rocks my socks! Off. Yeah. Yay! Medieval! I love the music in the game too. 
<laughs> it's all Halloween like, you know, it's all just awesome. Well, we are a flat faced skeleton. Bye. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> Awesome voice actor, doesn't he? <laughs> Fire! It's time to kill the ball! <laughs> That's us! Yeah! Pulls a cobweb from his eye. <laughs> well, his eye socket, anyway. And smiles. That those skeletons shouldn't be able to smile. <laughs> it has risen again! Sir Daniel Fortescue! See? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. Um. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. Yeah. Daniel Fortescue was never the hero of the day. He actually just died from an arrow before he could do anything. So he wants now to be remembered as a all hero skeleton. Yeah. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Easy. If only I could remember how to run. <laughs> I just allow him to walk in a straight line for a while. Can't remember. Oh well. Let's not remember Why how to do you jump. even need run? I mean, he's going pretty fast on himself. Not really, he's not. He's walking with big steps. At least I can rotate the camera. But I, oh shit, I want to stop throwing those things. Um, how do I swap my weapon? Ah, here we are. You actually have an inventory. That's called a small sword? Totally, it is a small sword. <laughs> ah, I know how to run now. Wow, the game's so loud. It isn't for me. It is for me. Trust me, I'm talking and I'm just sort of like, um, what the hell, you know. Unable to hear myself, even. Okay, that should do it. Um, wait, did that even change anything? It's still loud as buggery. Itchy head. God damn it, game. Please be a little more quiet. <laughs> you know, it's funny. The only thing I really want to turn down is the music. But the music is the one thing that's staying up. <laughs> wow, now the audio glitches out like hell. <laughs> yeah. I... Whatever, we'll go with it being loud. It's not that loud. 
Yeah, we got a shield. Hop. And we'll run around. Look for where to put that rune stone. Um, let's try and turn the camera around. Well, oh, yeah, a blur we've got... of weird skelly running. <laughs> well, it's not a blur on my screen. What's this say? Track down Zarot by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galamir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for a stinking trail of magic slime. We are the noble knight. Who has a weird head. I will head. be right back. Okie dokie.